How to move to another country. It's easier than you think, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. I have done it solo in many countries, and um, a lot of times it's not what you read on the internet. Let me get that hair out of my mouth. Um, like, for example, Ecuador says you need a uh, onward ticket. Nobody asked me for it. So... Um, that's a good country. Um, some of the easiest ones with the easiest visas, uh, visa on arrival usually are Belize, um, Ecuador, Argentina. They only give you 90 days, but still. Um, well, India, you have to get a visa before you get on the plane. Nepal, you can get it at the airport as you arrive. Um, Thailand you can get it but it's only for a month so it's better to do it ahead of time Lao you can get it as you enter the country um, let's see Cambodia you don't have to get it ahead of time Burma you do um, which is a wonderful country and they only want you to stay a month as well but here's the, the here's the get around you can um, get help from a meditation center to get a longer a meditation visa cool huh I'm gonna do that next time but you actually have to stay and meditate then <laughs> so how to do it okay just pack your bags and go to one of those countries that you can get the visa on arrival and then you figure it out from there you make it up as you go along that's what I do and have been doing for 10 years um, you never know what's going to happen, so you have to leave it open to what the unknown will bring, which is magic. And pack light. Uh, make sure you do all your bills and everything with banking online, and you're pretty much set with all of that. Now, um, I've seen this very high-cost travel with a bunch of people thing online. That's crazy. You can do it yourself without uh, 40 other people and deciding. Uh. See, one of the things that happens is when you're traveling and staying in a country, you might get somewhere and not like it that much, so you want to leave. Do you really want to ask 39 other people and pay a lot of money for the privilege to do so? No, don't do that. Don't get round the world tickets either because uh, you're going to find out that you're going to find places. Like, I was all set to go to New Zealand, but... I just couldn't leave Thailand and I so I stayed um, I was living in a monastery and doing photography and pictures for the monks and you're gonna find that things will happen to you that you couldn't have predicted so you want to leave yourself open for that and not have your course so set that you can't waver from it so um, and you want to try out a country, too. I mean, it took a few times to see that I really did love India, but I didn't love everywhere I was. It took a lot of uh, exploring to find uh, McLeod Gange, where I ended up spending a lot of time, several months, um, and working, teaching yoga and photography to tourists. And that was so much fun. That was the first uh, time that that happened where I could see that I could support myself and what I could earn. And it's really cheap to live in India outside of the big cities. So if you're in the Himalayas, it's pretty low cost. Um, I think my room was $8 a night. See, that doesn't come out to be very high. And then uh, you can get an apartment there. I paid 250 for an apartment with a beautiful view of the mountains and uh, month to month so there you go it's it helps to go ahead of time but if you can't which i usually haven't um you'll find out how difficult it is as you're there so you don't have to come up with a lot of reasons why you can't do it because um you just have to try it and see it could always just turn into a vacation um belize is a wonderful place to live they have a, uh, I think you have to renew your visa every six months. So I was about a year there. 
I don't think you have to renew your visa in Mexico. Although I kept going through Mexico to get to Guatemala and Belize. Um, Guatemala is easy to live as well. You don't have to get a visa ahead of time. So I just wanted to leave you with the fact that if you're ready to leave the country, go ahead and do it. There's a lot of cool places to live. Um, let's see, Peru, I didn't mention that, but you could live there. Argentina, Bolivia, all places that are pretty easy visa. Now, oh, one, I got to warn you, though. Uh, this location independent digital nomad stuff hey guess what you need strong internet you can't always get that you might have some project you're finishing and you can't upload a video or a picture um, so that's another concern if you need that which most people do that will determine where you actually end up if you need it every day which I need it every day so Check it out. Um, clean water. Look at this. I'm in the cleanest water place in the world. Can you see this stream behind me? There it is. It's the best water in the world. I'm at the headwaters of the Sacramento River, which is the cleanest water ever. It's going to spoil me for life because you go somewhere else and you go <coughs> when you take the water in your mouth. Ew. Anyway, so hey, comment below. Um, try not to be rude people that are just trolls on there because you'll just get deleted. This is for people that really want to do it or are researching. Have some questions, comment below, uh, share with people that might be moving to another country. And thank you for all of your comments and uh, support of my video channel. And I've been at this since 2009 and I'm going strong. I got 500 videos on here and it's going to keep going almost up to a million views. So, namaste, many blessings to you.